Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you another as seen. If you've seen the infomercial, oh my god. <laughs> it is a black charcoal face mask that you just peel off like that. Now, I was mentioning the infomercial is squeezing shit out of people's noses and faces and it is vile. Not only that, the ladies in that infomercial are like my face can breathe again. Who knew my face thing must come off and hurt like hell because they're talking about it's gonna take off micro hairs. <laughs> that sounds to me like waxing. I'm not trying to wax my face with this. I just want to gently exfoliate and just pull junk off my face. I don't want to wax my face with this. So that was kind of scary when I watched the infomercial. The infomercial was like too much bulb head. You did too much. They have sound effects of the fucking peeling of the mask. I mean, literally it went. Like everybody in that infomercial that was peeling off the mask had a fucking sound effect. You did too much. You outdid yourself with that one. Another thing that I noticed while researching this uh, great charcoal mask, which there is a gazillion of them on the market, is that Bulbhead said, fuck it. We made gazillions of dollars for the last couple years selling everything copper. Everything. Did I say everything? Yes, because they milked the hell out of that copper trend. Like, who do I complain to about this shit? Because too much. That's enough with the fucking copper. But this year, 2017, 2018, the big craze is charcoal. Charcoal toothpaste, charcoal, everything, everything, everything. In their marketing meeting, they said, listen, this is allegedly, I wasn't there, but I'm just imagining this meeting. The bulb head folks are like, listen, we killed that damn copper phase that we went through. We, we killed it. Kill, overkill. It was overkill. Now we're gonna do overkill with the charcoal. You're wondering, but why Vivian? Everybody's doing everybody's doing it. But they took this California charcoal and they just fucking did all kinds of products. <laughs> they have an information people waxing everything, <laughs> pulling black wax. And they said, we're not done. We're gonna make deodorant. Yes, they did. They have a California charcoal deodorant all natural Get on a treadmill and people sniffing armpits and like lab suits like you go okay well they're scientists or something no it's like average folks of like hey guys we need <laughs> it was like they went to the mall and they had those guys with the clipboards and they're like do you have five minutes for a quick survey <laughs> it was that and then when they's like yeah that's fine they're like can you would you smell some armpits <laughs> You're gonna get five dollars for your time. <laughs> I would have sent those people to hell. <laughs> they have the California charcoal wax. They have the California charcoal deodorant. They have the California charcoal peel mask. They have the California charcoal toothpaste. Yeah, we're gonna milk the hell out of this charcoal trend that's happening, just like we did the copper. And we're gonna make gazillions of dollars. The picture that we have here on the box is gross as well it says actual result magnified now that's pretty impressive if it's gonna be that it removes blackheads unclogs pores hydrates skin how does this hydrate your skin it is mgo free <laughs> sulfate free vegan gluten free cruelty free <laughs> bullshit free <laughs> oh i had that's mine i added that that's, that's mine. Natural ingredients, charcoal, clay, rosemary, eucalyptus. They're very proud also in the infomercial that this is made in California and not with their other gazillion products in China. <laughs> let's make all of them in California. How about that? Everything you sell, let's make it in California, right? But this one is California made. That's why it's $19.99. That's pricey for a face mask. In the instruction, it also says that you should continue adding layers depending on how much <laughs> how much shit's on your face. I was actually hoping just to put it like right here and right here, but I guess we'll do the whole face since they did the whole face in that infomercial. I wanna know why I can't find the deodorant at Walmart. I found this at Walmart. Where's all the other stuff? And it also says it comes with a free face wash. <laughs> it says, gets the ugly stuff out. 
Oh my infomercial. You were giving me a little bottle of this uh, face wash. You weren't giving me uh, one little squeeze. When people watch your infomercial, they think that they're also gonna get this when they buy it in the store. Just a little feedback. I don't know if you know that. You sell it to us in an infomercial, we run to the store to get it, and then we don't get what you showed us in the infomercial. In the back, we have our instructions. You're gonna get 2.8 fluid ounces for $19.99. I think that's a little overpriced, but let's let's put it on. Let's put it on. Before I say that, I know skincare stuff can be kind of pricey. Number one, apply masks to your face, avoid your eyes, apply multiple layers as needed so that the mask is opaque. For best results, you should open up your pores with a hot towel, allow the mask to fully dry until it is no longer tacky. Our final step says, when the mask has dried, carefully roll fingers along the edge until it begins to lift. Gently pull the mask upward to, because I don't know how long it's gonna take for this guy to dry. I'm gonna film two videos at once so that you have to watch them together now. Just a warm towel on your face to open up your pores. My pores should be somewhat open. Let's start putting some of this on. Ew. Okay. Let's put, ew. Okay. Let's see. See, now I'm scared that this thing is gonna pull my hair off. Feels nice, it doesn't feel too sticky. I thought it was gonna be way stickier than it is. Wait, why is it coming off when I touch it again? Did you guys see that on my nose? Look, okay, you gotta stay on now. Okay. Oh no, I got it on my eyebrows. Does it mean my eyebrows are gonna get waxed? Oh, it might dry kind of fast, I think. Okay, I think I need some more because ooh, it feels nice. It feels nice. It feels like my face is cooling off. I think that eucalyptus makes that feeling, right? Maybe it's the rosemary. I don't know. More. See, this can't be $19.99 if I'm gonna use this much. I need more. What the hell? I don't have it on very thick. My face does feel kind of tingly. Is that from the rosemary or eucalyptus or what else did they say? I think I'm good. I'm just gonna let it dry now. I'll start my second video and I'll come back when I'm ready to peel this guy off. Hopefully my face doesn't freeze like this <laughs> and I can't finish the other video. That's gonna be weird. This is what happens when you use these charcoal products. Everything turns black. So I'm going to time it to see how long this takes to dry. I did not put a thick layer on. I'm gonna say it's kind of in the middle. I'm gonna start the next video. Then once it's dry, I'm gonna come back to this video Peel it off, and then I'll let you guys know what I think about this California charcoal mask. We are back. I think there's just a little area right here that is not completely dry, and I've been touching it, and you can tell because it's missing a piece. But my last video was actually super short because that product, I'm not even gonna tell you. You need to go watch that video because I can't believe it. So I've had this mask on my face for now 30 minutes, and it's about ready to be peeled off my face. My face is so dry and tight. I'm just gonna go ahead and start peeling. It doesn't feel any different. The cooling sensation that I was having, it was gone pretty quick. Let's see now if I can get some gunk off my face. Oh! Oh, <laughs> uh-uh. I want my micro hairs, okay? Oh, no! They started a wax company. Ah, oh. fucker! Oh my god! Oh my god! My peach fuzz! I want the peach fuzz! No, dude, this is not. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I want those peach fuzz. I don't like pain. Oh, oh. Make sure your hair is pulled back. You do not want to get your hair in here and it's around my eyebrows. Oh my God, I'm scared of my eyebrows. I'm just gonna peel around my eyebrows because I do not want my eyebrows to come off. This area here is the most important to me and this is usually where you can get the most gunk off your face. Ah! <laughs> 
worth the pain. Ugh. You know what it feels like? It feels like I'm literally peeling tape off my face. That can't be right. Ugh. No, no. You leave my eyebrows intact. Thank you very much. No, I have a unibrow. <laughs> We're leaving that. Let me tell you what I pulled off my face. <laughs> Let me check the other side. Just in case I'm looking at the wrong side. Now look at my face. You guys see it? Look. I gave my money back because there's nothing on here. And if I need to mail this to you, you just let me know. I'll put this in a damn envelope real quick. I see like three blackheads on here. The rest of it is just peach fuzz and nothing. I'm going to give you that it took off five blackheads. Any nose strip can do that shit. And those nose strips are cheap. Your shit's $20. I'm in pain. I'm not feeling refreshed and whatever. That was torture. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's super easy to take it off with a wet rag. I'm gonna give you point because it kind of a little bit gave me a little bit of a cooling sensation right when I put it on. It's easy to wipe off with just a wet towel like this. My face is hurt <laughs> where I waxed it with this thing. It did not take out but just a few blackheads. I did as you instructed with my warm water to open up the pores. I let it dry completely. I put two layers on. It was like medium thickness on my face. My other complaint is about this. I'm gonna get a little thing just like the infomercial of face wash but I didn't. So for all of those reasons I'm gonna give the California charcoal peel mask two. Vivian heads. All right, you guys. So that is it for another Vivian tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.